we know that the choices, the decisions that we make impact the world around us, impact the planet on which we live. And as Christians, we want to make choices and decisions that reduce that impact, that help us to care for the creation, the world that God has made. But it can be really hard to know what the right decisions, right choices are. And that's especially true when it comes to the question of the food that we buy. It can be incredibly complex. Balancing affordability, sustainability is a real challenge. And there aren't any easy solutions to this. I wish that there were. But one habit that we can try and get into, that we've tried to get into, is to buy food as locally as we can. So that might mean going to a local market and buying your food from growers, from producers in your local area who come to sell their wares. Or it might mean choosing to buy some of your food from a local farm shop where you're buying from the people who have grown the food, who have raised the animals. Or it might mean that when you're in the supermarket, just taking that extra moment to check on the labels where things have come from, choosing to buy your apples from Kent rather than South Africa or whatever it might be. And these choices will have knock-on effects. It will reduce our carbon footprint because we're not shipping food halfway across the world. It will make us eat more seasonably. It will put us more in touch with the rhythms of the seasons, what grows when and where. And that in turn will reduce the energy use, the chemical use required to grow food that's not in season. And it supports local farmers, local businesses, local economies, which in turn strengthens local communities. Eating locally is not a cure-all problem. It's not going to solve all the problems that we face, but it's a start. It's something that we can do. It's a habit that we can get into. And if we can do that, then it might just help us to love God and love our neighbour a little bit more.